It is fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it's the funnest class ever. <laughs> Did he do good? Yeah. Yeah, let yeah. me see. Who aims oh, to be engaged more? There's a thing, like, if you start talking to somebody, you put your weight into it, and you're focusing <coughs> on them. I'm getting a lot more first-round hits with this than I do when you're just standing here. Because most people do this. They just kind of <laughs> lean away from it and spray it. But then when you're talking to somebody, you go like that. I mean, she just misted me all the way across. Yeah. It was in here and went over here and came back. <laughs> because you're intent upon it. Now, here's a suggestion. Some of you carry other tools. We're going to have to make a decision. Is this a left-hand weapon or is it a right-hand weapon? Yeah. Okay. If it's, right. yeah, if it's a right-hand weapon, when you get ready, if you had to change tools to another a firearm or sap or whatever, you simply let go of it and go yeah, to it. Okay. Say. And there's some other reasons, though. You don't know yet. The guys, don't make a decision in haste. There's another another set of circumstances we're going to add to this. Why you might do one over the other. Okay. So we'll think about it. Uh, for me, at the beginning, it, it was always left-handed because I like non-lethal tools on my left side and lethal tools on my right side. We see this in police shootings often. If they have the taser on the same side as the gun, it's highly likely they'll go for it. You're creating a problem. You, I went to grab my pepper spray, and instead, I did something else. You've got to think this through. It's going to require what, Dan? Practice. You've got to practice it. If you carry more than one tool, you've got to practice the tool cycling because that's the hard part.